time no see. I'm a bit off my video making game, but I thought today I would go in with a double whammy and attempt to do two videos. So I wanted to vlog and I want to film a art video for my channel. Um, and the vlogging part, I guess, is gonna be essentially the struggle that I've been going through for the last month or maybe even more of trying to come up with video ideas and just videos that I'd be interested in making. So I thought I would bring you along with me for a typical filming day um, that I'm hoping will be more successful than the last few that have resulted in essentially nothing. So because I'm filming today, I've decided I need to start out by painting my nails because they're a bit of a mess at the moment um, and I'm hoping that painting them will cover up uh, <laughs> the majority of the mess that they are. So essentially the struggle has really been just, I've really enjoyed doing challenges and kind of studies and stuff like that. And that is the stuff that I've just been doing in my own time without filming it. But I've got to a point where I really, it's like, I don't know what I'm studying for anymore. I, I, I want to develop my style a bit more. I want to make art that I enjoy making and just really, I don't know, work on some proper pieces, but then I get round to it and I've got no ideas. I don't feel creative. I don't feel motivated. So I turn back to study to kind of, I don't know, um, warm up the creative muscles, I guess. And I don't know, it's like a cycle of wanting to make art, not feeling good enough to make it, studying and not knowing what I'm studying for. And I don't know, it's luckily I've been able to keep up with at least making are in the way of studying but I really want to do something a bit more fun so I still don't really know what I'm gonna do today what I'm gonna film it's not a great day for filming because the sun's in and out I don't know if you can tell but yeah the lighting I think will be a bit of a difficult one today but if I talk myself out of filming today um, it will just keep going on uh, I know I'm not gonna be able to film tomorrow and by Thursday I probably won't really want to so I think I just need to get on with it with the conditions that we have and just see what we end up with. I'm really, really hoping that by the end of today, I'll have something new for my channel because I really miss making art videos. And I think if I just make one, I will gain a little bit of momentum. I think the longer that I put it off, the more uh, I'll kind of talk myself out of it. So yesterday I did get to have a little bit of fun working on the painting that you will have seen right at the beginning of this video. Um, that was kind of a study, kind of an experiment, uh, mainly just something that I did for fun. I've wanted to work on a big scale for a while now, so I just, uh, stopped overthinking it and whipped out the canvas and started painting. I used a reference that I found on a uh, copyright free website So I'll leave a link to that website if you want to check it out and um, there's lots of great things on there um, And even though it was mm, Kind of a study it was it was more just me trying to let go and have fun and do something just for the sake of doing it uh, I might leave it unfinished. Um, I haven't finished it yet and I feel like I may have got out of it what I wanted to. Um, it was nice to just stand up and put some music on and just paint for the sake of painting um, but it still hasn't got me any closer to figuring out what I want to be doing, what kind of pieces I want to make uh, but at least it, I don't know, it reignited a bit of joy in me for painting so I am grateful to it for that. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's quite nice. Um, it's not something that I want to keep making but it was nice to remind myself that I could paint. Okay, well, one done. Uh, I really need to focus now while I work on my right hand, but I'm starting to feel like less of a bum. Right, so before I start filming, I just wanna work through a few emails. Uh, just make sure my inbox is clear and I'm just on a clear slate to start the day. Um, one of my videos I know is running as an ad as part of a sponsorship from last year, but it turns out that that ad is not skippable. So uh, it's a two and a half minute video that is running as an ad before videos that people wanna watch. So I'm getting quite a few angry emails about that. And it's annoying because it's not something I can control and it's not something I would have ever chosen to do because I do find that not skippable ads are really obnoxious. Um, so yeah, it's kind of mortifying that one of my videos is being used in that way uh, so I'm just gonna email people back to let them know at least that um, I hear them and it's not something that I chose um, not the best way to start the day but uh, work that needs doing and I just want to kind of get that done and out of the way and then just be ready to do some filming While I'm doing that, I thought it would be good to have a quick catch up on, I don't know, just how things are, what I've been up to. So the flat things here are coming along really well. We've been decorating very slowly. Um, we're almost done with the living room now. It's really homey. Um, we found some really nice things that we've put in there um, a couple of 
unique pieces that we really like. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's nice in there. And let's see, um, the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed that there is cat furniture in there. Uh, we do have a cat now. Um, his name is Thierry, Aussie named him. Um, after Thierry Henry, obviously. Uh, I'm not an Arsenal fan, but I do like Thierry Henry as a footballer, so I will allow it. Uh, we got him from uh, Celia Hammond Animal Trust in Lewisham. He obviously is a rescue cat, and uh, the whole process took about a month, not just with him, but just looking for a cat in general. Um, lots of ups and downs. It was a real roller coaster. It's kind of part of why I wasn't filming, just because I was really invested emotionally and there was a lot of disappointment and heartbreak um, and also lots of highs, obviously, finding him. So, for example, we aren't actually supposed to have a cat. It's in our tenancy agreement that um, there are no pets allowed in this flat, but I managed to convince the landlord because we've had a major mouse problem for the colder months. Um, I think it's probably over now, but yeah, we had a, not major, but quite a a uh, persistent mouse issue going on. Um, but part of the deal of allowing us to have a cat uh, was that we had to pay an extra £700 towards our deposit. So that takes our whole deposit up to, I think, over £3,000 that Aussies convinced they won't give us back. They'll find a reason not to give us back. But I'm saying that even if it comes to when we're moving out and we have to pay a bit of money just to get this place looking brand new, it's worth it to not lose out on that £3,000. Uh, so we managed to get the tenancy agreement changed so that we could get a cat, um, so that we could keep the mice at bay. But I have always wanted to have a cat. I've always dreamt of having a cat. So it's just been a real dream come true. I really didn't think that in this stage of my life um, I would have one. But yeah, really, really happy. And then uh, one of the issues uh, we obviously wanted to get a shelter cat uh, and we wanted a cat that because we don't have outdoor space we wanted a cat that was either old or just ill or one that would want to be indoors maybe just one that had always been an indoor cat uh, but yeah we were happy to get any cat that was suitable for indoor only living but a lot of the shelters that we went to uh, we would find lovely cats and cats that we thought fit the criteria and they would say that we couldn't have them because we were indoor only or um, there were some shelters that wouldn't even kind of look at us at all so that was really disheartening um, and we got to a point in that search where it was kind of like maybe this just isn't going to happen maybe this isn't the right time and I almost felt bad for wanting a cat uh, and not being able to give it um, outdoor space at that point um, I really felt like maybe we were doing the wrong thing and maybe we were being selfish to want to have an indoor cat. But eventually uh, we went down to Lewisham, we uh, decided to stay local and we found a cat there. He was His name was Henry at the time and he was really, really shy, but really just gorgeous. And in that moment, I just kind of felt a little connection, uh, but it turned out that he was a really difficult case and they weren't sure I mean, you couldn't even touch him. You couldn't even touch him like with a feather on a stick. He would hiss. He was completely terrified. They felt like he'd been through some kind of trauma. Um, and they said that he essentially had a complete breakdown. He wasn't eating. Um, he wasn't doing anything. He wouldn't leave his cage. But we decided that, you know, despite the fact it would be a challenge, we really just really liked him. We really wanted him and we wanted to give him a stable home and just get him out of that shelter, which I have to say, Celia Hammond, the staff and volunteers there are amazing. The facilities, I just think it's, I'm so glad that we decided to go there. So yeah, uh, they told us that if we were to take him on, you know, it could be months before he would even approach us. You know, it could get to a point where he would never really allow himself to be touched by a human ever again. Um, and we just decided that it was worth it. We just wanted to give him a home. So we brought him back and uh, yeah, it was stressful. It was stressful. It was like lots of moments of doubt of thinking, are we the right people for this? Is this a big task? This is our first pet together. Um, is this too much to be taking on? But uh, I don't know, Ozzy's like the cat whisperer within a couple of days. Henry, who is now called Thierry, uh, he came out, he approached Ozzy. I think he was so aching to be like loved again and to be back in like a stable home and away from other cats, I think, because the thing with him is he had always been an indoor cat. Um, he's still not 100%. We've had him for about a month now and he's still a bit wary, but you know, we have some lovely times together. He likes to come in and out of the studio all day while I'm working. Um, we have a lot of lovely play times throughout the day. Yeah, we have a laugh. We have a lot of like cozy times. Um, he just will occasionally let his guard down a bit too much for himself and then lash out. But we're, we're getting there slowly but surely and he's just a real treat and we're absolutely in love with him. So you'll probably see him at some point throughout this video. He's kind of in and out. Um, throughout the day he's a bit more uh, aloof and to himself and then it's more in the evening where he 
really will not leave my side. He's completely, uh, he's just my shadow in the evening, especially on days like this where I'm um, here on my own. Ozzy's been working a lot of doubles recently, so um, he's out of the house for 14, 16 hours a day. And it's just me and Thierry keeping each other company. Um, he is still really thin, even though we've had him for a month and he just gobbles up everything we put in front of him. Still quite thin. He's also got a patch of hair missing, which when we first got him, I thought that was from over grooming. Um, I thought like, with the anxiety and stress, he'd been just grooming the same spot over and over and it made it bald, which I've seen before in other cats. But the fact it hasn't grown back yet is a little bit concerning, So, and the fact that he's not putting on weight. So I think we might book a vet trip sometime soon if that doesn't change. Um, but if you guys know anything about cats and have any advice, I'd be thrilled to hear it. Uh, let's see, other than that, um, art-wise, I have been keeping busy. I went to my first ever proper in-person life drawing class on Wednesday before last, I think. Um, it was in Bethnal Green. It was really, really nerve-wracking, but I decided that I was just gonna jump right into it. I was gonna do it, um, really put myself out there. I mean, nerve-wracking to go to an area of London that I don't really know, go there like on my own, um, be around people that I don't know, draw in public, um, just all of it all together was like, uh, and I thought, you know, it's one thing to draw at home, but to draw in person, um, is not something that I'm great at, or, or not something I'm as experienced with, at least. But it went really well. I really, really, really enjoyed it. It was about two and a half hours, I think. Um, and I just completely got so zoned into it. It was so almost hypnotic and like meditative, I guess. And um, I was really happy with the drawings that I ended up with. Um, so thank you to my friend Izzy, who recommended that to me and um, brought me with her. Of course, did this painting yesterday. And then other than that, I've been working mainly on studies. So I mentioned the Nathan Fawkes or Folks class. I remember I pronounced it wrong last time, but I can't remember what I said. So the Nathan F class that I've been taking, um, I've been working on the assignments that come with that. And also uh, I've been working on my Lisbon travel journal. So my aim at the moment is to actually finish off all the travel journals from the trips that I took last year. So at the moment I'm doing Lisbon um, and then I'll have a California one and then I will have a Maui one. Um, but the issue with that is again, with not being 100% happy with the art I'm making or the style of it, um, I'm using this to experiment, but also I don't know, they're projects that I've been putting off because I wanted to do them right. Um, and I, and I'm, it's taking ages to get through it just because it's not where I want it to be yet. But that's basically what I've been working on. Um, now I need to carry on with these emails. I need to get started with filming. It's already one o'clock and I don't like filming too late because I don't want to lose the light. So I need to stop talking. <laughs> one of Ozzy's jumpers because it's freezing. I also had some lunch, uh, which was a bit too heavy on the mustard. Uh, I also had made a green smoothie just to tide me over while I'm painting. And now I think it's finally time to sit down and get on with it. Still don't really know what I'm doing. Um, not really in the mood. Oh, it's not that I'm not in the mood. I just feel like I'm constantly doing sketchbook stuff, but I also feel like it's a bit too late in the day to try to attempt a proper painting at this point because I know I won't finish it in time. So I'm thinking maybe like a sketch dump type of page, uh, which should be quite fun. I um, haven't done that kind of thing in a while and it'd be nice to play with a few different styles and a few different subject matters. So yeah, I think I think I might go for that and hopefully you guys don't mind always seeing sketchbook videos. It's just that my sketchbook is really where I spend most of my time creatively at the moment while I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do otherwise. Uh, but quick note about my filming setup. This is just a piece of cardboard that I've stuck some um, like wood effect uh, sticky paper to and that just acts as like a tabletop that I can bring in and out and um, just kind of transform the look of my desk uh, for those overhead shots. And um, the mic, no, the uh, the like overhead tripod is a mic 
arm, uh, like a microphone arm, and I will have a link below to the video where I found out how to uh, create this setup. But uh, yeah, it's time to get on with it. I've kind of got this thing of spending the day in the studio, but not really feeling like I'm getting a lot done. So if you saw right at the beginning of the video, I marked off the date it on like a wall calendar. I'm using that to track the days that I do spend in this room. I do uh, one line across if I'm just in here, and then I do like a full cross if I feel like it's been a full work day. So as you probably saw, uh, they're all just one line, which means at least I've been in here. Um, I'm grateful for that, but for the most part, it's just been, um, I don't know, faffing about like, or doing a little bit and then running out of steam. So I'm hoping today I can really stick to it and really, 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 really just want to be able to film a video today and get on with it. So no more time wasting, let's do it. Yeah. Well, that took a little longer than expected. Had a little helper halfway through who was definitely more of a distraction than a help. And then I also ended up spilling half my drink across my table. Thankfully missed my sketchbook, but it was a little while to clean that up as well. Uh, so I ended up losing light eventually. It's about half four now and it started to rain. So it's getting quite dark in here now. Uh, so I tried to just wrap it up as quickly as I could. Uh, so it's not necessarily to the standard that I would have liked, but the whole point of it was that it was just going to be a normal kind of sketchbook spread just to play with ideas and have fun. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I think the full effect of it is quite nice. Um, and in general, it did what it needed to do. Um, I tried a couple of new things. I tested out a couple of techniques that I've wanted to. So uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. And I have succeeded in my goal of filming a video today. So I'm very happy with that. Now, uh, before it gets dark, I want to head over to the office. Um, I have just one order in the shop this week, but uh, I need to get that packed up and sent out. So I'm going to pop over there really quickly, um, see my mum at the same time as well. And I think that's it for now. Just remember that I had a pile of clothes here that I was planning to take to the charity shop. So I'm gonna bag these all up and I'll take them to my mum's cause I'm sure she's gonna wanna have a look through see if there's anything she wants in here. I'm glad I remembered this before I left. Okay, before I go, I thought it'd be fun to just set a timer to see how quick it takes me to get from here to my mum's house. I've obviously said a few times just how close I live, but I think it'd be interesting to see just how close it is. Um, also, don't mind the sticky uh, <laughs> double-sided tape that's on all my furniture. Someone likes to scratch everything, so this is kind of the deterrent for that. But let's set this timer. Okay, let's go. So mum's house was nice, it was nice to just pop out the house and see another human being even if it was just for a little bit, uh, especially on days like this where I am on my own all day and then I may or may not have popped into Tesco on my way home just to pick up a bottle of Prosecco on a whim, I actually went in to buy a chicken but I changed my mind and bought a bottle of Prosecco instead so I'll just treat myself to that tonight. Um, so I got in and soaked some lentils because I'm going to make my kind of go-to on my own 
comfort food tonight, my like go-to meal. It's like nice and easy, um, really filling, really tasty, um, like a coconut dal. So soaking the lentils for that right now. Um, I've also uh, tidied up the studio. I like to leave that kind of brand new for the next day. Uh, let's see, Fed Thierry. And if I were a good YouTuber, I would probably edit at least one of the videos that I filmed today, but it's coming up to about seven o'clock. And I think I might just call it a day work-wise. I feel like I can give today a cross on the calendar because I have achieved what I wanted to. I did film a video for the first time in a very long time. So I am um, giving myself a pat on the back for that. Uh, but for now, I'm just probably gonna play with Thierry because I think he wants some attention and then I will get to cooking. And I think I'll spend the evening eating my lovely food, probably watch something good on Netflix and drink a nice bit of Prosecco. Uh... 